Okay, I'm going to do a power test. Um, so far, I haven't noticed any distortion. I haven't been able to get it to clip. So, in order to get it to clip, I'm going to have to. Um, well, I don't want it to clip, obviously, but um, to push it to its limits, I'd need to have a higher audio input signal. Um, Samsung have a lower audio output voltage than Apple but it's not much of a difference um, yeah I'm gonna do a bass test now and then I'm gonna do a treble test afterwards Base test did have quite a bit of treble in it, but it wasn't really constant. So I've got this part of the song on, and that's gonna have that. Um, I've got the speakers wired in series each channel, so there's 16 ohms per side. Um, I was running it four ohms a side and have them in parallel, but um, and then I looked on the data sheet and it said I shouldn't do that. Um, but nothing's broken which is good it was just producing unnecessary heat and wasn't getting out as much power as I could be so 16 ohms is optimum level for bridged application anyway um, I'm gonna do this test now <laughs> Ah, uh, 
does really loud. I don't ever need it that high, but it's good to have a bit of headroom. Um, so yeah, see you in the next video. The mute switch, I will add it, it's in there. The mute switch is actually in there. But, um, and I've like um, taped it down so it's like all solid and that. Got it um, in the on position. So um, I might put it like there when I do put it on, or over here next to the input. Next to the inputs, but um, yeah. I was thinking of having fans on the side as well, but it's overkill for normal use. And if you if you're gonna be cranking it up like I did then and having that running constantly, um, you're probably gonna be at an outside party. So if this is outside, then it will be cold. It'll be nice and cool, cold, and stay cool. So um, yeah, hope hope you like the video. Um, and see you in the next video.